Hallå allihopa, välkommen min kanal, välkommen tillbaka, hallå. It has been so long since I picked up a camera for you guys, since I did anything for this channel, and it's been exceptionally long since I last studied either of my two languages, Swedish or American Sign Language, but particularly Swedish. And I am here to vlog for you guys and to talar på att svenska. So, uh, hey, um, I have so far, you know what, I gotta, I gotta discuss this. Basically, Swedish has been on my mind for a while. I haven't studied at all so far in 2024, and I miss Swedish. Every single time I leave Swedish, I grow a, a yearning for the language, and I want to come back to it because I love the language. I truly, truly love the way it sounds. I love the culture. I love maybe the people i don't know i haven't really talked to any swedish people but i love i love swedish i love the language so much so i always come back to it and i haven't studied it at all in 2024 and i started to get the itch to start studying it again i've been listening to swedish music all year so you know it never really went away but i really wanted to start studying again and I would get the itch, I'd get the urge, but I would never sit down and start. I would never boryar. So I never started. And then I got assigned a program at my library, which is where I work, and we are each doing like a hobby, some type of program on a hobby and what is my hobby that's unique to everyone else who works at the library? It's not reading, I'll tell you that. No, it's Swedish, it's language learning in general. And so I have started preparing for that program, talking about language learning in general, they want me to speak in my languages, and I just started writing a script and with some little Swedish, like a little Swedish script of what I wanted to say, and it came back to me. Some words started to flow in, so I started watching Troll Hunters, Trolljaken, um, in Swedish, and they came back to me. More words came back to me, and now I'm working on the script, and I'm writing in Swedish, and my mind will not stop. It will not stop writing in Swedish. It's like, is it them? No, 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 no. It's not them. What about vilket, vilken? What is the correct like form of that word? Som, som, vilket. Which one would I use for the word which? Like my mind, it started coming back, and I've, and so, the past three days, I have intensely started studying Swedish again, and I truly do mean intensely because before I would do maybe thirty minutes, like I would not study very much, and when I started studying again. I like I practically completely forgotten everything and now it is all coming back and I had no idea how that felt but it feels so good. <laughs> I love it so much you guys. Oh my goodness. So basically like I could remember hey hey dua ar you know I couldn't even remember Henne for woman or for, well, it's for her. I couldn't remember Henne for her or Han for him. Like, I had forgotten really basic words. I started back at A1. And then as soon as I started listening to the language and reading in the language and watching stuff, I just, everything came back. Stuff I hadn't even studied since I did my original 90 Days of Swedish Challenge for here, in the front of my mind. And it was insane, you guys. And I could not go to bed after I studied for two and a half hours on day one. Like, I could not sleep, you guys. My mind, Swedish. Every, every single thought I had was in Swedish. It was like, oh my goodness. I had forgotten what it was like to go to bed after a day of studying your languages and not be able to sleep because your mind is just still in that language. And I freaking love it. Oh 
oh my goodness, I had forgotten what this felt like, and I... I love it. I love it so much. So I've been studying for three days very intensively trying to get back what ground I have lost and also of course learning new words and also just trying to build up that Swedish brain. I'm trying to approach Swedish in a different direction than I had the first time I studied the language and the second time I studied it and the third time I studied it, like, I'm trying something. I'm, I'm trying to do it differently so that it sticks, so that I'm consistent with it, so that I can speak it. Because my favorite thing of Swedish is speaking it. And, well, I can't do that right now because I don't know a lot of words. So, we're trying something new. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And... Yeah, so I just wanted to start a vlog kind of showing you what I'm doing. I don't have any classes right now, so I have been able to dedicate a lot of time to these languages this week. I had no school the past two weeks either. I didn't do anything except sleep, so... Moving on from that, um, I have just been trying to force myself to study Swedish because... I just don't have the motivation, but I have the determination, and you can't live off of motivation because it's not going to get you anywhere. It will, in the end, die out. So I'm trying to channel this excitement I have for my program, for the little Swedish I have written into my program. Like, I am, I want to get better at Swedish before the program so that I can actually feel comfortable in what I'm saying and speaking Posvenska. The Viet, or Viet do. Yeah, that's something I keep doing, is I keep speaking, I keep saying, you know, but I keep saying it as you know, and it's Viet do. It's like, ah, ah. So, anyway, I'm very glad. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about what I've been doing to catch you all up. So I have been tracking quite a bit here on Polylogger, trying to get more consistent at this. Um, but I've been watching uh, Trojakin Aventure y Arcadia, um, which is Troll Hunters Adventures of Ar in Arcadia, or Adventures of Arcadia. I spelt it wrong here, so don't mind me. Um, I tried Young Royals, but I was not into it because I wanted the audio to match up with the subtitles, which it doesn't do that with Troll Hunters. So. Yeah. Um, I also started reading Percy Jackson, the first book in Swedish. I found a copy of it on my Gatekeeped website and a the audiobook on YouTube, so I've started pairing those together. Of course, Clothes Master. Um, I watched a video about Vara versus Fienna, and I also have been using Harry Potter Octon Visus Then to practice my speaking, and I've even started writing. So something that everyone says you need to do is you should journal when you're learning a language, you should journal in the language. And honestly, the past three times I've tried to study Swedish, I've been like, how? How do you journal? How do you journal in the first place? And also, how do you journal in a language you don't even know? But for some reason, I've been able to sit down and get access to the little Swedish brain of mine that is developing and journal. Like, it's, I don't understand it. I don't know if it's because I am listening, and I mean, I am listening to so much Swedish because I really want a Swedish brain. I really want to tap into that. So I have just been listening to Swedish so much. That's like when I read um, Percy Jackson, I am listening to the Swedish. And when I am playing Sims, I have a Swedish podcast going on, the same Swedish podcast episode, actually. Bibliothek, Bibliothekingen? Bibliothek, it's Bibliothek something. Your um, But I have that on a repeat with the transcript pulled up. And, like, I'm trying so hard to get into the Swedish mindset. And I feel like me actually listening is helping me write. And, you know, they always, you know, Steve Kramer, Steve Kramer? Hmm, Steve Kaufman, sorry. Steve, <laughs> sorry. Steve Kaufman, he is always talking about how important it is to have input. Input this, input this, input this. And, I mean, I understood that, but I never took the effort to do input. And now that I am, I can see the results. So, 
yeah, I don't want to get cocky because it's only the first week. And also, when I start school up again, I'm going to have to change my schedule around a little bit to try and still get Swedish in every day. But <sighs> I wanted to say hello to you guys. Obviously, I said hello for 10 minutes. But I wanted to say hello to you guys and talk about this because I'm having fun. And I wanted to tell you guys just that I'm studying Swedish again. And I'm going to vlog tomorrow because I'm hoping to do more Swedish study and... Yeah, uh, it is 10.40, so I have 20 minutes before I'm going to get ready for bed. So I think I'm going to do one more round of Clothes Master, and then I'm going to practice my speaking by reading Harry Potter och de Vissesten, and I'll film some of the speaking. So don't judge me. I am new, um, but I also don't care. So yeah, anyway.